It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. So if she said to you, can I play with your balls? You tell her, why, of course, my dear. You can play with my ball playing bear and you're good to go. With that, thank you, my friends, for joining me and welcome back. Welcome back to another fantastic toy, the toys that never end. And I'm always glad you could attend. That's why I tell you to step inside, step inside. Now, before we get rolling, as always, get comfortable in your easy chair, your barco lounger, or your lazy boy, your office cubicle, your high chair, your kitchen chair, your Starbucks chair, your independent cafe chair, wherever the heck you're sitting, whatever you're doing, grab a steaming cup of coffee, assuming it's morning, and maybe you're drinking coffee in the day. Why not? Maybe you're at the diner and you're having brunch and you could still have coffee. Although my diner seems to push mimosas for some reason. Don't ask me why. I, I don't think I drink mimosas. What are mimosas again? Aren't they like orange juice and champagne or something weird like that? You know, it's got to be cheap, cheap, cheap champagne if they're pushing it. But anyway, with that out of the way, as I'm still working on my giant Fiji bottle, Kick back in your relax, in your relax, in your relaxed position, maybe. Adjust the screen that I am in control of now, what you're seeing. And what you're seeing is very cool. It's a toy that I've wanted for a while. I've never had the chance to buy it. And it was on uh, eBay cheap, but it didn't stay cheap. You know why? Because I didn't realize who the seller was. And he's a he's kind of a wheeler dealer, you know? So it kind of had that weird pop at the end where it went high. He probably thought, this is a sucker born every minute. But you know what? I've been wanting a good example of this toy, complete with all his balls. Because let me tell you something. When you have a bear that plays with his balls, make sure you have all his balls. Because you know what? A bear without his balls is not as fun as a bear with his balls. <laughs> okay, now, speaking of balls, I only loaded three in this mechanism, but I have five more balls. So it's a total of eight balls, which would probably suit all these bears playing over here. Well, there's only two playing, but anyway, you know, this is a lovely 50s, by the way, toy. You could tell by the colors used on it. And uh, when I got it, I thought it was going to be smaller, but it's actually pretty big. And let me move him out of the way. It was kind of like start and stop with it as far as the, uh, the operation. At first, I thought maybe it's not even working. So you have this depiction, right? This lovely, gentle, happy depiction of a time gone by when bears dressed like nice little boys playing with their striped pants and playing ball and all the animals were happy the kangaroos the elephants the giraffes and of course the bears spanning all kinds of continents too and this was a cragston toy distributed by cragston made in japan will i find the actual japanese manufacturer i don't think so but this is a really cool toy i mean i i love this scene it looks like straight out of a 1950s cartoon you can see the side panel here, battery powered circus animal sideshow, Bruin the bear and his ball playing act. See the balls spiral up and return. Listen to the squawk of the revolving duck. Watch the spinning circus carousel top, Craxton Corporation. I mean, that's a lot of friggin' action. When I see these, some of these battery toys, I say, say to myself, man, oh man, you could have made like such a phenomenal space scene you know what i mean like a rocket with a spinning top and an astronaut or a robot doing something with their balls because you know what astronauts and robots probably want to play with their balls too hell everybody wants to play with their balls who doesn't want to play with their balls right anyway you can see all these balls here there's balls everywhere it's like a a ball bonanza here and that's your end panel now the box bottom, I mean, it has some, man, it has some wear. It's the, the uh, corrugated cardboard it looks up, but it has some spotting. And considering how nice the top is, the bottom is really stained. 
staples everywhere. And look at this water stain on the bottom. I thank God, I think it just, it hit the bottom, but it didn't penetrate the toy. Let's look inside it. Well, it even has its original tissue paper in here, this really flimsy tissue paper. So they must have caught it right away. There's only the faintest staining on the inside, which is nice. Let me put the tissue paper on top. No sense in uh, risking it cracking or something. And by the way, if you're wondering, what did this cost about 70 years ago? Well, it was $2.49. You know, back when a dollar was actually <clears throat> worth something. Before, you know, like the devaluation and the printing of the trillions and trillions and trillions and more trillions. So anyway, that is the toy. And what, what about the, the actual, well, that was the box. What about the actual toy? Well, here is the toy. Let me show you this cool battery box. It has a slide switch that is like an ejector. Boing, look at that. It shot out like a freaking cannon out of there. One D cell, one, just one. See, load it in there. It feels like you're you're loading a freaking torpedo in a missile tube, ready to shoot something down on the high seas. And you have a tiger, a monkey smoking a pipe. This uh, cool line here reminds me of what that cartoon Hanna Barbera lying. I can't think of his name, but. It's a menagerie of animals, I tell you. And then you have a dog waving at this giraffe who's got some kind of scarf on for some reason. And the dog's got a yellow striped shirt for another reason. By the way, I'm losing I'm losing steam. This is my third video, and I'm in between a ton of other work. So I'm kind of like, I'm losing energy. And I was going to try to do a live stream, but I don't think I can make it. Ah, what is this, a fox, another elephant, another fox here? Maybe this is, a, I don't know, what the hell kind of animal is this here? I don't know, maybe it's a dingo. I don't know. We'll call it a dog or a, yeah, a dog. <laughs> this is a fox. And on this side, you have, I don't know, a bear. Maybe this is a bear, too. Let's call that a bear. He's definitely a bear. And then you got a pig. Were these influenced by Looney Tunes? Could be. Could be. And then you got a lot of beautiful little flowers on the base. I love flowers. And then, so I don't want to lose my balls by tipping it. But look at that. It tells you how to, how's this for clever? They just stuck a sticker on there that, pointed the battery in this direction. And here's a factory touch-up, by the way. You can see they had some loss here and they just touched it up with like a color that was close, close, but no cigar. And the body's all, to, this is all tin except for this head that's celluloid. The duck is celluloid. These little birds are celluloid. The balls are celluloid. And uh, everything else is tin. So, and it's a big hefty size. So much more impressive than I thought, to be quite honest with you. Let me hit one more light here. All right, I'm back. I'm back ready to show you how these balls operate because I know you all want to see how my balls work. So without further ado, now I, I got to warn you that this toy is a little wonky. So I might hit the switch and nothing happens, but maybe it'll work. So let's go in three, two, one. That stopped on its own. I didn't do anything. Is it jammed? So, somebody suggested use an older battery. I think that was fantastic. Whoa! One of my balls fell out. Two of my balls fell out. One is by the goose. That goose looks pretty spastic. At least I don't have to worry about a light burning out. <laughs> I can't get this. My ball stuck. There we go. You know what? Whoa. Whoa. I put in a blue ball. Because you know what? You can't have proper balls unless they're blue, right? I mean, who doesn't want to play with their blue balls? 
Now I have blue, yellow, pink. Whoa, that's crazy. That's freaking awesome. Imagine this if it was space theme, how freaking awesome it would be, even more so. Okay, there's your jamming. I think that's enough of that. Whoa. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. And that, my friend, well, you know what? Let's see if we have a shot this way. I can't believe they even bothered to make the head go back and forth like that. I mean, that is a lot of actions. You got a spinning umbrella. You have this whole contraption here. You got the goose, his head. Of course, the squeaky sound. Whoa, my blue ball, my blue ball. Oh, there's only one left. Ah, God, they're all gone. They're all gone. Thank the Lord. It's like a schizophrenic bear. Now, this is why I love battery toys, because I think they have, like, this phenomenal, phenomenal action. Colorful, whimsical. And, uh, you know, what can you say? I just, like I said, I wish they would have used this, these static toys, you know, that don't move around, for other themes. They would have been awesome. I mean, I, I like them with the animals and the people, but they could have just done so much more. And think about it, though. Like, when you have an astronaut pressing, uh, they might cross over to a robot and then a character toy. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, they might have a Tessigen body, then it has the Astro Man body, then it could be a Nomura astronaut, then it could be Robbie the Robot. I mean, they, they've, they've used it for so many different things. This could have been a character toy, it could have been Bugs Bunny. It could have been, again, an astronaut. It could have been a robot. It could have been rocket-themed. So many, so many possibilities. Why, oh, why didn't you do that? But anyway, you know what I didn't see on here? There is a Made in Japan here. But I do not see anywhere on here a manufacturer, like a proper manufacturer, like a Yonazawa or or a Macedaya. I don't know why I'm I'm thinking Macedaya, but I could be wrong. I'll have to look at Gallagher's book that I just got in the mail. But anyway, my friend, that is a look at what's colloquially known as the ball playing bear, but the proper name is Bruin the Bear and his ball playing act. So if you like Bruin the Bear and you like bears that play with their balls you know what you can do for me thumb up the video it would be greatly appreciated leave a remark and let me know what you think as always i appreciate your time and with that thanks again my friends for joining me and i will talk to you later